Hi, everybody. Welcome to the latest installation in LiveWars Wednesday webinar series. I will be your host today, Leanna Inzarillo Werner, Associate Communications Manager and Staff Liaison to the award winning Young Professionals Network or YPN. Today's webinar, YPN and Down Payment Assistance, is proudly presented by the YPN, which aims to foster the growth and success of young real estate professionals by providing them with the tools, resources, and support they need to thrive in the industry and become the leaders of tomorrow. To join our vibrant network, please visit lirealtor.com slash YPN, and I'll be sure to put that in the chat. We are so fortunate today to have Melinda Harris with us this afternoon. Melinda Harris is Vice President of Marketing and Communications at Down Payment Resource, where she oversees the organization's marketing, communications, and public relations goals. For more than 20 years, Melinda has developed award-winning marketing campaigns, guided top performing creative teams, and championed research and education efforts that expand home ownership accessibility. As a quick note, slides for this presentation will be made available to the membership after it occurs. And at this point, I'd like for Melissa to take it away. Hey, thank you, Liana, for that awesome introduction. Um, hey, everyone, welcome. And thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we're going to be discussing down payment assistance programs or DPAs. Um, we're going to discuss how to utilize these programs and, and most importantly, how to utilize them to engage home buyers. Um, really quick, thank you again, Liana. I want to thank LIBOR and the YPN for inviting us today. Um, we are really passionate about homeownership, really passionate about DPA, and um, we thank you so much for helping us bring awareness um, of these programs to the real estate industry. And then um, we also appreciate the opportunity to show agents how these programs can really help you start conversations that lead to homeownership. So first up again, I'm Mel Harris. Um, I am the marketing and communications director here for DPR, and I'm going to be your tour guide today. Um, for those of you who may be unfamiliar with Down Payment Resource or DPR, DPR was launched in 2008, and the 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 main reason was. Uh, our CEO wanted to solve a problem that drove a lot of people in the real estate and mortgage industry absolutely crazy. And that was that there was just no easy way to find and track home buyer programs. So these programs have been around for a really long time, but there was just no database or no easy way to, you know, kind of uh, culminate all these programs together into one place. So DPR was developed strategically for that reason. Um, we developed an easy way to connect eligible um, home buyers with hard to find resources like DPAs, grants, uh, mortgage credit certificates, and other assistance, which we'll go over a little bit more about these programs in just a sec. And then at DPR, we track and monitor all of the available home buyer assistance programs in the U.S. So we are a nationwide company, and that includes programs, um, state programs like Sony May in your market in New York, and then also programs in your local market as well. And we partnered with One Key MLS um, to help bring awareness to these down payment solutions that are available to buyers. Uh, we do that by, we actually are integrated into property listing data, which again, I'll talk about and show you guys um, a little bit how that works a little bit later. We actually tag listings that may be eligible for assistance and clicking on our icon can show you a little bit more information about what um, that particular property may be eligible for. And then we also offer several uh, marketing tools and resources, which again, I'll go into more detail about later, but we do have one particular one that we'll spend some time on called Down Payment Connect. This is a lead gen tool. It's free to you, um, you know, as a one key MLS subscriber. And um, it's a it's a great tool to introduce home buyers to what down payment assistance may be out there for them. So again, um, we're integrated into property listing data for you guys, and then we also have a couple of other free tools and marketing resources that um, we'll go over with you. So essentially, um, I don't think it's a secret for anyone that it's a rough market out there right now, but um, we're here to bring good news. We're here to bring some hope. Uh, we want to provide you with effective tools and resources that are going to help you connect home buyers to the down payment help they need, because despite all the other problems out there, um, saving for a down payment is still a number one obstacle for a lot of buyers, as I'm sure you guys know. 
So if you're wondering, um, again, if you're not familiar with DPR and what we provide, if you're wondering what it costs, great news, it's free. Um, there's no upsells, no freemiums. It's ready for you to use. It's live right now. Um, it's part of our partnership with One Key MLS, um, our tools and services. So that means there's there's nothing for you guys to do. All you have to do is I'll show you where to find us, and then you can start using our resources today. Um, so I want to talk a, a little bit about DPA. Um, this is going to be a, a pretty high level overview, but just want to kind of give you an idea. So before we dive into the details of our integration with One Key MLS, I just want to give you a little bit of information about down payment assistance in case anyone's unfamiliar about of these program or unfamiliar with these programs and how they work. So um, or if you just need a quick refresher, um, down payment assistance programs are loans, second mortgages, grants, tax credits, uh, or mortgage credit certificates, like I mentioned before. And then there's several other varieties of programs, but essentially they're there to help home buyers achieve the down payment faster, cover closing costs, and most importantly, get into a home sooner than they may have thought they could. Um, these programs are essential in helping you get buyers off the sidelines by helping them overcome that down payment obstacle. So each quarter, we produce a report called the Homeownership Program Index. And basically, it's a snapshot of our database. And the most recent one was quarter two, um, 2024. So this is taken from that. And this gives you a quick overview of the types of down payment assistance programs that are available for buyers. So there are a lot of, like I said, there are a lot of different types of assistance out there. But the three most common types are the affordable first mortgages, uh, mortgage credit certificates or tax credits, and then of course DPAs. So as you can see on this uh, visual here, DPAs make up the majority of the programs in our database. Um, we have over 2,400 programs nationwide currently in our database and down payment programs make up 73% of all of those programs. And then each of the down payment programs have their own um, repayment terms and, and they vary pretty widely. So some are straight second mortgages, um, others are grants, and those are of course wonderful because they don't have to be repaid. Um, some of those second mortgages offer deferred payments and um, where payments were are deferred for a like a predetermined amount of time or until there's a change in occupancy or until they refinance. And then we also have forgivable seconds, so forgivable second loans, where the loan is forgiven either, you know, after a certain number of years or incrementally over a certain number of years, as long as the home remains the buyer's primary residence. And that's an important piece to these programs. Um, these down payment programs, they are not meant for investors. Um, they're not necessarily meant for first time home buyers either. Another important piece about 40% of all the programs in our database are for repeat buyers. So um, these programs are changing and evolving every day. There used to be quite a stigma attached to them. They're just for LMI um, buyers. They're just for you know low income or certain uh, lower sales prices. And that's truly not the case anymore. Um, these programs exist for repeat buyers. Um, some of the programs don't have income or sales price requirements. So there is a, a big variety out there for your buyers. So that's 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 definitely important to remember, even if you have a buyer and you think, well, maybe they may not qualify for down payment based on income, or maybe this property doesn't qualify based on sales price, I would encourage you to investigate. You may be surprised. So um, a common myth that we still hear is that these programs are not available. They're not available in my area. Um, definitely wanna clear that up today. Down payment help is out there. It's all across the country. Um, the graph you're seeing now is just our top 10 states with the most programs, but there is a program, multiple programs um, available in every state across the country. So, and even though you guys are in, um, you know, a higher cost market, the great thing about these programs is that they're market adjusted. Um, so there are plenty of programs available in your market to choose from and those programs are going to be compatible with your sales prices and your average household income. So for me, I'm in Georgia, um, you know, a lot lower, uh, 
a lot lower market pricing and, and, you know, than what you guys are dealing with, but these programs are market adjusted. So what I get in Georgia is going to look a lot different from what you're going to get in your market. So as far as who offers these programs, um, that list seems to grow every day, but essentially each state has a state housing finance agency. So Sony May in New York, um, they, the agency usually offers a range of program options, especially state HFAs. They're going to have a multitude of program options. That's typically where the affordable first mortgages are going to come from. And then other program providers include municipalities, cities, um, you know, county governments, employers, and then nonprofits, of course. Um, you may also see programs from housing authorities, uh, community development, uh, finance institution or CDFIs, uh, federal home loan banks, land trust, and like I said, the list kind of grows every day. We're seeing new programs coming from various different program providers and administrators um, as, you know, really as these programs try to keep up with this market that we're in and help more home buyers. And then DPR tracks and monitors from all of these providers. Um, we actually develop relationships with the providers. We reach out to them monthly. So we try to keep our database uh, runs on about a 30 to 45 day window. So the programs are updated every 30 to 45 days. And we do that through the relationship we have with the program providers. So we reach out to them monthly um, and you know see if anything's changed, if funding has changed, if there's anything to be updated, et cetera. Because obviously we wanna make sure that the data we provide is as up-to-date and accurate as possible. So here are some um, trends that we are currently seeing with DPAs. Um, the number of available programs has been increasing every year for a very long time. We have seen probably at this point, I'd say maybe six consecutive quarters of growth. So I mentioned our homeownership program index um, a little bit earlier, our quarterly report and Every time we have produced that report, um, each quarter for the past, I'd say six, maybe seven even quarters, we have seen an increase in the number of programs being offered, which is amazing. Um, so we, again, a long trend of, of programs that providers are bringing to the market to help more home buyers. And then, you know, of course, demand for DPA is through the roof. I mean, affordability is a very hot topic these days. Um, and although a, a, a large knowledge gap remains, meaning, you know, we understand, we, we work tirelessly every day to try to inform home buyers and industry professionals about these programs. But I will say um, with some of our partnerships, uh, we are seeing consumers are growing much more aware of these programs. Um, we're seeing consumers bring these programs to their um, you know, loan officers, their real estate agents and, you know, advising them on these programs. So that's that's great to see because, you know, ultimately that's who we're trying to help. Um, and then we're also seeing providers are, you know, as I mentioned a little bit before, increasing assisting assistance amounts. Um, they're modifying other requirements like increasing sales price amounts, increasing, you know, um, income limits to help meet that consumer demand. Um, Tons of new programs are launching in markets nationwide. Uh, you know, we're seeing that much more than we're seeing programs going away. And then based on our last homeownership program index, 82% of all of the programs in our database are funded and available. Um, so in short, down payment assistance is still available. It's out there and it's definitely not going away anytime soon. Um, going back, this uh, this is a graphic from our homeownership program index, and I am happy to either share with LIBOR or I can put it in chat um, after the session today. But our homeownership program index, we have currently 2,415, I believe, programs available in the database. That is a 11% year-over-year increase in the available programs. Um, so again, several quarters, we've seen an increase um, in, in just providers trying to create more programs, bring more programs to market to help these home buyers and kind of offset some of the troubles that um, you know everybody's having. And this, of course, in turn, offers you opportunities to help new buyers. 
So we've talked a little bit about what's available nationwide. Um, I did want to add a slide in here so that we can take a look specifically at what is available in your market. So what's available in the greater NYC area, we currently have 56 programs, 50 are funded and 30 agencies were um, administering those programs. Um, income limits, I believe it's a little bit higher than this. It's kind of tough for us to get an average because like I said, some programs don't have income limits. Um, you know, so I, I, I feel like this, it, it, it is much higher than that, but that's 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 a good start. So 159k statewide. Um, purchase price limits have definitely increased, and I will tell you too, prices prices again. It's kind of hard to nail down because they can be higher in targeted areas, for example. Um, and this is just for single family re residences. So there are some programs that are going to support multifamily residences as well. And those prices for a four unit property, for example, are going to be a lot higher. Um, so it's, it's, it's tough to, you know, again, get averages or kind of get, get maximums and minimums here because there's, there's just such, such variation among the programs. And the same thing when, uh, when it comes to getting like an average assistance amount, um, we we say the average is 20K um, and ranges from two to 100. However, um, some programs aren't based on a dollar amount. They are based on a percentage of the sales price, for example. So obviously you can imagine, um, you know, if you're, if you're working with a program and you get 10% of the sales price, that's going to be quite a bit of funds um, and probably more than this. So again, it's, it's tough to pin, pin an average down, but I just wanted to give everyone kind of a snapshot of you know what what you have available in your market, and then a staggering number because we obviously have a few MLS partners. Um, this number is really really high. Eighty percent of all of one key MLS's listings are eligible for DPA. So something important to note about these programs is not only does the buyer have to qualify, the property has to qualify as well. So the property has to be in the right place and it has to be priced at the right price um, to qualify for DPA. And that's why I mentioned we, we flag listings within the MLS that are eligible and that's what it's based on. It's based on where the property is located and what the sales price is. So for 80% of the listings to be eligible based on those two criteria is, is that's amazing. That's, um, that's a great, that's a great number. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a large amount of listings and it's, it's, it's mostly because the sales price range is so flexible in your area. I mean, we're, we're going up to a, a pretty high number when it comes to um, sales price requirements. So it's a benefit. And then, there are some um, universal requirements that you're going to see for a lot of home buyer assistance programs, um, just some general requirements like kind of across the board. So again, these are not for investors. Um, they are for owner occupant buyers. So properties must be primary residences. Um, there is typically a minimum buyer investment. And those investments, I would say, can range uh, from about $500 to $1,000, or those may also even be a percent of the purchase price. So um, again, it's just, it's it's a variation, but there is usually a, a buyer investment there. Um, not not a ton of money, but but just want the buyer to have a tiny bit of skin in the game. Um, home buyer education is typically a requirement, uh, especially for first-time home buyers, but I will caution, uh, you know, if if any of you have, if you've never used a DPA program before, um, don't don't be frightened off by the home buyer education requirement. Um, definitely don't view it as as a delay or a hiccup in the process because, you know, I personally, since I've been in this business, have learned how valuable these these courses are. And if you want my honest opinion, I think anybody any buyer should have to go through them. They not only help. Home buyers um, get through the home buying process, but they also teach them how to be responsible homeowners, which is just really important. And a benefit to these courses is the certificates um, are typically good for a year. So if if you know that you have a buyer in the market, you know they may need down payment help, go ahead and get that home buyer course out of the way uh, because that certificate's going to be good for a year. So you know it, it's just one one thing that wouldn't hold up the closing, um, and they and they already have that under their belt. Oh, and then of course, um, you know, if if 
if they're using down payment assistance and it's a, it's a second mortgage or a grant, then they obviously have to qualify for a first mortgage as well. And qualifying for DPA is obviously a lot like qualifying for the first mortgage. A lot of the criteria is going to be the same. They're going to be looking at credit score. They're going to be looking at income and debt and things like that. So um, qualifying for that first mortgage, would they, they'll kind of do it in tandem. Um, or they'll qualify for the DPA in tandem with qualifying for their first mortgage. So now that we've talked um, a little bit about down payment assistance, and again, I know that's a really quick overview. Um, we have more information available on the specifics of these programs. We even have some webinars that we host about, um, you know, DPA, kind of a DPA 101 series that, again, I will happily share with LIBOR so you guys have access to that if you're interested. Um, and then after the session today, I know that um, you guys have a you know, leaving questions probably in chat. I'm happy to answer some of those, leave some time at the end of this for some Q&A. But um, now that we've talked a little bit about DPA, what it is, um, you know, how to find it, let's look now at our integration with One Key MLS, what it looks like uh, for you guys and basically what you get and how it works. So we are integrated into Matrix and Stratus. Um, we offer the same features and tools and resources for both. Um, we'll be going over Stratus specifically today, but it looks very similar um, in, in both platforms. But if you have any questions about the integration in general, again, I will have our contact information here at the end. You're always welcome to reach out um, because I'm basically just going to be showing you guys some screen screenshots today. But the way it works is Eligible listings within the MLS are going to be tagged with our icon. So the icon you see here, the big dollar sign with the check, um, that icon is going to appear. It's going to appear on on market listings. It's going to appear on um, all of the bullets you see here: condos and townhomes, co-ops, two to four unit properties. Um, there has been a huge push lately. We have seen a lot of increase in programs accepting manufactured homes. Um, I think about 40% of the programs now um, allow for manufactured homes. And then one thing uh, to point out, there's nothing you need to do to get a listing tagged with our icon. We do it automatically um, or automatically as um, our, our cheesy CTO would say. But yeah, so each night we actually go through the listings and we decide, you know, we, we figure out what properties are eligible and they automatically get tagged. So if you had, if you entered a listing today and it was eligible, you would see the icon on the listing in the morning. And then this icon, you're just going to click on it next to the property. Um, well, I'll show you here. So this is the a screenshot of the um, Stratus agent single line detail. And you see our down payment resource icon there. Um, if you click on that icon, it actually will give you a list of all of the programs that that property may be eligible for. And then um, you actually have a learn, learn more button you can click on. It'll give you information about, you know, kind of what the next steps are. We're going to give you the number one question that we get from agents is how do I find a loan officer that works with these programs? And the good news is that um, most of these programs have an approved or a participating lender list. And we include that in the program details. So for example, if you clicked on an, our icon from this um, single line display and you, know, you, you found a program you wanted to learn more information on, clicking on the learn more button is going to, the first thing on that list is a link to participating or approved lenders. So you have that information um, available to you as well. So if you don't already have a lender that works with DPA, you know you can contact the um, one of the lenders from that participate from that program provider's approved list. Um, you know, and and they'll be able to help. So you can also find the icon on the agent detail um, view. There's uh, the icon, and then right next to it says "Find Down Payment Help." Clicking there will be very similar um, to clicking on it from the you know single line, just going to provide you with a little bit more information about the programs that that property may be eligible for, um, and you know what next steps and how to get started. And then the other thing I want to pin so so those two two ways are you can that those two ways are the ways that you can find us on 
listings that are tagged, but we also have a ton of other resources available um, to you to help you help home buyers, you know, find down payment assistance. And then we also offer some marketing resources for you as well. And the way that you find um, what we refer to as our member dashboard is when you are logged into the MLS, here on the MLS homepage, you'll see um, under the one key MLS links, down payment resources. If you click on that, that is actually going to take you to our member dashboard. And this is where you're going to find all of the um, additional tools that you have available to you as a one key subscriber. So the first thing, and I mentioned down payment connect briefly earlier, but the first thing that you're going to, um, that I want to point out to you is your down payment connect link. Don't pay attention to um, Daffy Duck here. That's our, <laughs> that's our, um, that's our user um, interface, but that link there is going to be personalized to you. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about it in the next slide, but essentially this is where you're going to come to find your personalized link. You are going to find instructions on how to get started. So clicking on that green down payment connect button um, is going to give you instructions on how to get started using your link. Again, I have more to say about it in the next slide, but just as a, a precursor, the Down Payment Connect link is just a really, really, really great tool. It's a great, it's a lead generation tool. It's something that you can use in your marketing efforts on social media, uh, in your email signature, et cetera. And it essentially is a search engine for home buyers. And they will be able to use your link, go in and search for programs um, that may be eligible for them or may be available for them. And then you're going to get that lead in your in your inbox. And it's it's a great conversation starter. Um, you're going to get copied on the programs that are you're going to get copied on their search results. So you'll know where they were searching, what came up. Um, again, just a really, really cool way to introduce down payment assistance programs into your marketing. And then also a, a good way to start new conversations with home buyers. But I said too much already about Down Payment Connect. Can you tell I get excited about that tool? So I wanted to, while we're on the dashboard, I wanted to show you a couple of other um, marketing resources, um, or I'm sorry, a couple of other resources that we have on the dashboard. So the other green button marketing resources, this page has um, a ton of graphics that you can use in email campaigns. We have social media graphics. Um, we have graphics you can put on your website. And all of this, of course, is to help you promote your Down Payment Connect link. But there are also flyers um, in there that are personalizable. Uh, we have some helpful videos in there um, on marketing in general. Um, so I would definitely check out the marketing resources. You don't have to necessarily use your Down Payment Connect link with them. They're just there to help you promote down payment assistance. And then um, obviously we want to help you increase your business and educate more buyers about DPA in the process. And then if anyone has an IDX site, the next thing I will point out is that we can actually, um, we can incorporate DPR into your IDX site. So there is a button here with some instructions on how to do that. Um, essentially, we are here to help you with your IDX vendor. So um, if you're interested in that, just don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, again, we, we're happy to help, but that's a really cool tool if you do have an IDX site. And then another feature that I personally really like, because, you know, in my experience, we have agents that want to know the minimum about DPA. And then we have agents that want to dig a little deeper. Both are totally fine. Um, for anyone that wants to dig a little bit deeper, um, what a tool that I really like, one of the, the top orange button there called Client Search. This tool is really cool. If you have a home buyer or if you just are interested in want and you know in more information about programs that are available in a certain city, county, you know, area that you, you know, that that you work in, this client search tool is really cool because you can click on that and you can do your own search. It can be a general search. It can search by address. Um, you can even enter criteria and narrow it down. If you have a client that you would like to do a search for, you can use the client search tool if you know their income, if you know their, you know, how many people are going to, you know, if you know that they're a first time homebuyer or not, et cetera. There's a lot of criteria there that you can select from. 
And then you can do a search, get familiar with programs that are available. You can save those searches. Um, you can share those searches. We have agents that use the client search and maybe they have a client that they know needs DPA. They do a general search for wherever the client, client is moving or they you know, search by address. And then they can actually share those search results with their loan officer. Hey, I found these programs that are available, these DPA programs. Do you know anything about them? Could they help my buyer? So essentially, you know, I love that tool because I really feel like it empowers agents. You have some additional information about DPA that you can share with home buyers, but you can also share with loan officers. And, you know, we, we have a lot of loan officers that they find out about DPA programs you know, sometimes through through agents or through home buyers, and then they can work to get on those approved or participating lender lists so that you can start working with them, you know, doing DPA in the future. So I really love the client search tool. So I always like to point it out. But the other tools here are great as well. The pricing tool. It's awesome if you are um, doing a listing and you want to know, OK, maybe if I price it here versus pricing it here, um, you know, what kind of programs would be available. So that's a, that's an awesome tool. Um, and then of course, our blog, our reports, the education button takes you to our education page. We do standard um, monthly webinars that you guys are always welcome to join. They're gonna be a little bit higher level, but um, we have a great one, like I mentioned before, DPA 101, that goes into these programs in a little bit more detail. Still not you know excessive detail, but just kind of goes through a little bit more detail about some requirements and repayment terms and things like that. So you're always welcome to join those. And then focusing a moment on Down Payment Connect. Again, I, I went a little far on the last side because I really do love this tool. Um, I just think it's great. And again, I'll point out it's free. It's free to you as a one key MLS subscriber. So why not try it out? Um, so here's a, a couple of in, you know additional details, and you can get started using this tool today. And I would encourage you to do so. Again, um, you know it's free for one KMLS subscribers. It's a lead generator. Um, it's available now for you to use on your website. Um, and don't forget to go back to our dashboard and pull some of those marketing resources. We have graphics that you can use, and then you just hyperlink, you know, um, your link, your Down Payment Connect link to that graphic. You know, if it, depending on how savvy you are, if you want to create another page on your site, uh, you know, you can you can do it that way. You can set it up as an iframe, whatever you're most comfortable with. But, you know, an easy way to start is put it in a social post, um, put it in your email signature or whatever marketing solution works best for you, wherever you find the most traffic. Um, it's just a really, really great way to start new conversations about home ownership. And, and you know, you can engage and educate new buyers. You provide them with a path to down payment help. Um, again, there's a huge knowledge gap between you know these programs and consumers especially. A lot of consumers just don't know these programs are out there. Um, so knowledge about these programs often sets industry professionals apart. Um, so you know again, I, I think the down payment connect link is a good way to start that process and educating more home buyers and of course generating leads. Um, and then hopefully it does enhance your your marketing efforts. Um, you know, it enhances whatever you're doing to promote, you know, your business. Throw that in there. Throw in the fact that, you know, you have access, you, you can talk to them about down payment help. You can talk to them about down payment assistance. And I will say again, these programs have changed and evolved a lot over the last few years. So even if you think maybe your buyer may not be eligible, I, I would still check. Use that client search tool. Um, it allows you to narrow down by income, by sales price. If you have that knowledge, that information, use that client search tool and see what's out there. You, you really may be surprised um, because these criteria, this criteria for these programs have changed quite a bit. And the way Down Payment Connect works, it's basically an opportunity for buyers to search for programs. So they search for programs using your personalized link. Once they do their search, they're going to have to fill out their contact information. It's not a lot. It's just name and email address, basically. So they're going to have to fill out their contact information to view their results. And then as soon as they do that, you get notified of their search. You're copied on the results, and then you obviously have their contact info so that you can reach out and discuss next steps with them. So 
Um, again, really cool tool. It's it's just it's just a way for you to you know, start those conversations about buyers and and we know down payment is an obstacle, but there are so many opportunities available to buyers out there for down payment help. So many programs they could potentially take advantage of. And again, you know, if 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 you don't want to take a deep dive into DPA, that's totally fine. Um, you know, we're not trying to make loan officers out of agents, of course, but you know, our goal is essentially we we just want to empower you with this information so that we can get more buyers into homes, right? Um, so speaking of, you know, finding loan officers that do DPA and then just connecting with other program uh, providers, you know, finding industry pros um, inter interested in doing DPA business. We have a Facebook group. It's called Down Payment Insiders. There are over 13,000 um, people in the group right now. And it, it, organically kind of became this networking um, group. And sometimes there's a lot of activity, sometimes not. But I would encourage you, you know, to check it out, um, join and and just, you know, post if you're if you're looking for someone interested in doing DPA, if you have questions about DPA, um, you know, it's it's a it's a pretty cool group. Uh, we've seen success stories come out of that. We've seen marketing ideas. I mean, recently we we had an agent post um, that she did a yard sign and put a QR code that linked to her down payment connect page, um, and she was seeing great results. Um, so you know, we share content in there as well. DPR does, and you can be an active member um, in the group, or you can just you can just lurk um, or just listen in. But uh, definitely feel free to join the group and join the fun. Um, I actually monitor that group. And like I said, some, sometimes it's quiet, sometimes it's, it's super busy, but it really is full of, I think a lot of like-minded DPA people. Um, if you ever have questions or, you know, want to learn more about it. And then, you know, the last, one of the last things I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with, um, you know, I, I, I know we have um, agents, I believe, on the call that may have never heard about down payment resource or DPA in general. And, you know, that number one question, of course, is how to find a loan officer that works with DPA. Um, the, the Facebook group, Down Payment Insiders, that I just mentioned is a good resource. But, you know, a couple of other recommendations. Utilize utilize us, utilize down payment resource. I'm going to have a contact slide at the end of this with an email address you can reach out to at any time. I'm happy to share my personal email address if you want to contact me. I can't promise I'm going to be super savvy on specific program details, but as far as how down payment resource works and marketing, of course, I can absolutely help. Um, we do include participating lender information in our um in our search results. So you're going to be able to see that. If you're specifically looking for a lender that does DPA, um, I would suggest to starting with your state housing finance agency, which is Sony, Sony May. They have a, an approved or participating lender list. And, and what we found is a lot of this um, approved lenders for state HFAs usually not only know about the state programs, but they typically are always, they're going to know about the um, local programs as well. They're going to be pretty DPA savvy. So um, your state HFA is a good place to start. But, you know, another expert, uh, get involved locally, get involved with your local program providers, um, you know, attend networking events, attend info sessions, or Teach a home buyer class. Um, you know, if you're familiar with home buyer counseling agencies or education courses in your area, offer to sponsor, offer to teach. It's a great way. Um, it's also a great way to meet new home buyers, but it's a good way to kind of, you know, for you to learn more about and and not just teach, but attend. You can attend those classes. You can attend them with your home buyers. Um, you know, you can sit and listen. It's a great way sometimes to learn about DPA that's available in your area and kind of just, you know, educate yourself a little bit more on what's out there. And then, you know, going back to the finding loan officers, um, I always suggest to check with your peers, um, you know, if check with your broker, see if anyone has recommendations for loan officers, um, you know, in your area that can help that are familiar with, with DPA, because, you know, not that no one would think to do that, but oftentimes, you know, there, there's, there's a few good ones and all you have to do is ask, right? Because, you know, I've been with DPR for 16 years, and um, I can tell you that 
bottom line, these customers become customers for life. They're not your average customer um, because, you know, you're, you're going that extra mile for them. Um, and, and, and oftentimes you're going the extra mile for someone who may not have been able to become a homeowner without down payment assistance, um, which, you know, it helps to ensure repeat and referral business for you. Like I said, I've, I've seen it a million times. I've seen a million sex success stories um, from agents and loan officers that are able to help buyers and just continue to, you know, work with them and, and work with referral business based off of it. So give it a try. Um, and that is all I have for you guys today. Um, I'll open up chat on my end, Liana, if we had any questions or anything you want me to start with. But you guys are welcome to reach out to us at this email address. We have several people on the team monitoring this address. Um, you know, we are happy to answer any questions that you have. Melinda, I just want to say I learned so much from you in this webinar. So I'm feeling more empowered. Um, and I just wanted to thank you and the entire team at Down Payment Resource for their time and talent today for this webinar. I don't see any open questions in the chat right now. Um, but if I would say it within the next minute, if folks did have questions, maybe to get those in there. Um, I'm just going to give them a second to type if they would like to do that. But if not, we're going to we're going to close out. So it was wonderful to have you with us today. As we said, the slides will be made available after the presentation. Um, if you're interested in joining our Young Professionals Network, please visit us at lirealtor.com slash YPN. And I think we're over and out for today's Wednesday webinar. Fantastic. Thank you again to LIBOR and uh, YPN for having us. We really appreciate the partnership. Thank Anytime. You. And you're, well, I'm sure I'll be seeing you next year. Uh, people are just saying thank you in the chat. So thank you everyone for coming out. Have a great day. Enjoy. Thanks guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.